You gotta talk to people about that. Well, well, well. Beta Ray Bill trending on Twitter. I don't even, you know what? I don't even know how to, re I don't even know how to respond to this. Beta Ray Bill trending on Twitter. This is ridiculous, man. Sweetheart, Mariah, I want the whole world to see you while you're laying on the couch. Say what's up. I took a nap. She took a nap. Beta Ray Bill is trending. Dude, this is actually kind of beast, right? This is actually kind of beast. Cause beta, okay, here's the thing about Beta Ray Bill, right? Like Beta Ray Bill, in some ways, is kind of this unsung hero of Marvel. And in other ways, she's kind of dumb, right? I mean, it's, it's cool. So here's the cool thing about this. They can make some amazing stuff with Beta Ray Bill, right? For, here's a really good example. There's this story by Kieran Gillen called Beta Ray Bill God Hunter. And I think it starts in Thor issue number 337. No, it doesn't. I think it includes stuff from 337. So here's the deal. Beta Ray Bill was originally the creation of Walt Simonson, right? So back in Thor issue number 335, Walt Simonson took over and he was like, we're doing my thing, right? It's so like right off the bat, like Thor ends up coming across this guy named Beta Ray Bill where he really is a Corbinite. But basically the Corbinite race, and I think Galactus was the one who destroyed their world. But Corbinite, the, the Corbinite race, their world had basically been ravaged and destroyed. They didn't really have a home anymore. They're traveling across the cosmos. So Nick Fury is like, monitoring space doing whatever as he's doing and like he sees this like huge herd or whatever it is this huge caravan of vessels that are passing by earth and he's like what in the heck is this so he's like thor go check it out so thor gets there gets in this huge fight with beta ray bill and it's just like dude this is kind of nuts so eventually like beta ray bill overpowers thor and then takes his hammer and it's like holy shit man like he's the first person to pick up the hammer of thor like i remember i remember like reading about that i wasn't alive at the time that it came out but i remember reading about that and it was kind of nuts. It was like, so there's this guy who can wield the hammer of Thor. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, if you go back and look at the letters pages, people were freaking out. They were like, oh, dude, holy cow, man, this is nuts. Some folks were losing it because they were like, only Thor should be able to wield his hammer. And they were losing their minds because they don't like change. But then other people were just like, this is awesome because new things are better than old things that don't change. So it was, it was, it was badass to see. Regardless of the circumstance, um, eventually, I think Odin has Thor fight, uh, fight, Beta Ray Bill to determine who it is that's worthy. And I think Beta Ray Bill thrashes him. But ultimately, uh, Beta Ray Bill ends up getting Stormbreaker. He ends up getting like his own hammer, basically, and then went forward as a hero. And it's cool, right? There's like this brotherhood between him and Thor. Anyway, so fast forward to like whenever, and Kieran Gillen writes God Hunter, right? So Thor's like sitting around one day, or I'm, I'm sorry, not Thor, Beta Ray Bill's sitting around one day, and he's like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy Galactus. Like, I'm gonna kill Galactus. And it's like, but like, why though? Because I mean, I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, he led to like the destruction of your, your race's home planet. So, I mean, I guess if a person showed up and burned down your house, you'd probably want to kill him too. But at the same time, it's like, but I mean, it's like Galactus though. So, I mean, it's, this isn't a guy that you beat with punches, right? You're not going to like run up on him with Stormbreaker and just like pummel him to death. It'd be funny, but that's not how that works, right? I mean, it'd be kind of, I think it'd be hilarious to see like Beta Ray Bill show up and just like, just pummel Galactus to death with his hammer, just like beat on him like a nail. But that's not how that works, right? So it's like, okay, anyway. So this whole thing goes down. Um, Beta Ray Bill ends up finding the location of Galactus. Galactus is like feeding on, the, like getting ready to feed on this planet. Beta Ray Bill blows it up. And it's just like, damn son, like he just destroys a world. He's like, screw you, man. I'm gonna wipe out this world so you can't feed on it. It's kind of nuts. So anyway, the battle the battle goes on. Like ends up Galactus goes to like another planet with this group called the, the Ethans or something like that. It's like I apostrophe T-H-A-N. Ethan, I guess is how you pronounce it. And, uh, and Beta Ray Bill, like, targets the world by, like, releasing this plague. You know, and, like, there's there's all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on. But it, it's nuts, right? Like, there's one point in the story where Beta Ray Bill isn't worthy anymore, and he can't lift Stormbreaker. And it's just like, damn. So, like, it's, dude, Beta Ray Bill's kind of nuts, right? He's kind of cool. Here's the question. Here's the question you have to ask. If Beta Ray Bill is going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe... How's all that going to play out, right? It's a perfect way to introduce Galactus into the MCU, right? Because I like the fan theory. Somebody on Reddit came up with it. It wasn't me. I kind of wish I had. But somebody came up with this really good theory where they said that Galactus... I'm sorry, not Galactus. When Thanos blinked out half the life in the universe, because he's not an idiot and because, like, it wouldn't, like... The plot in of itself didn't make sense, right? That's something I never understood about, about Infinity War, right? Galactus is, or Thanos is like, I'm going to wipe out half the life in the universe. It's like, okay, Thanos, well, what about, like, what are we going to do in 100 years when, like half the life comes back, then, like, are you going to wipe it out again? Like, what's, what, how are you going to fix this massive plot hole that nobody thought about in Infinity War because everybody was obsessed with how good the movie was? Um, like, the theory is that, like, Thanos basically created Galactus, and Galactus is going to, like, basically continue the campaign of, of, like, consuming worlds and so on and so forth. It's an awesome theory, and it definitely fills in that giant plot hole that was left in by the writers. But, um, nonetheless, 
Uh, it'd be a great way to introduce them, right? Like, the Corbinites are a race that are out there now, and, like, Beta Ray Bill's home world was destroyed by Galactus, and now, like, he's out on a quest for revenge or something like that. Or Thor just discovers him, you know, and, like, they get into a huge fight. But I don't, I don't know how you do it. I don't really care how you do it. What I do know is the Marvel Cinematic Universe needs Beta Ray Bill. Like, you need, you need Beta Ray Bill in there, right? Because here's the thing. Watching Avengers Age of Ultron, I think they screwed the pooch when they let Vision pick up the hammer of Thor, because it's like, who cares? It's Vision. He's an android and he sucks. Like, Vision, Vision's okay, but, like, the only thing he ever really did that was significant, he only ever did two significant things, three significant things in Marvel Comics, right? The first thing he did was turn on Ultron. The second thing he did was have kids with Scarlet Witch. I don't even know how that happens. And the third thing he did was, like, lose his identity and just go back to being, like, a regular android, right? Like, Vision's not that great. And so, like, like... In the movies, when they're like, well, we're going to have him lift the hammer of Thor. It's like, but why, though, Joss Whedon? Like, why would you do that? Because it's kind of dumb. Like, I think it would have made more sense if Captain America had been the first one to wield it, right? Because that was a beastly-ass moment. I remember sitting in the movie theater when Captain America lifted the hammer of Thor, and it was nuts, right? Like, like, like literally, Thanos is, like, getting ready to kill Thor, and it's like, oh, dude, Fat Thor is going to die. Like, this, this sucks, man. You know, and it's like, and then, like, out of nowhere, the hammer just, like, conks conks Thanos over the head and I was like oh my god no they didn't like like somebody goes to pick up and I'm like oh my god no they didn't no they didn't man and like everybody in the theater was like no they didn't you remember that sweetheart Captain America picked up the hammer of Thor oh shit man that shit was lit dude it was <laughs> dude it was amazing man because like he goes lift the hammer up it's all in slow motion like they knew what they were doing it's all in slow motion and I was like oh dude no way no way man and then like like the hammer goes flying and it hits it hits Thanos and the hammer comes summoning back and Captain America's like boom and I was like Rick James bitch like it was it was amazing I was that's what he should have said honestly like every time he hit Thanos he should have been like Rick James Rick James and just like just just whooped it up dude it was it was amazing I'm sorry if I'm so excited people but it was an exciting moment moment in the movie we're not even talking about beta ray bill anymore it was an exciting moment in the movie even now i go back because i know you guys do the same thing i go back and watch the video on youtube right because i'm just like all right that shit was lit <laughs> it was pretty amazing but nonetheless for beta ray bill in the mcu look here's the thing beta ray bill was one of these guys where he shared a kind of camaraderie and a kind of brotherhood with thor that nobody else really had Right? It was it was it was like like Thor, for example, summoned the help of Beta Ray Bill during Ragnarok, right? And like you get these small things here and there. And that's kind of what you need. Is is this guy who was able to lift the hammer of Thor, who was able to challenge Thor in a in a literal fight and, and take the hammer from him. The problem with that is if you do that now, it kind of lost its impact. And that's why I always advocated the idea that, that I loved Captain America lifting the hammer of Thor in, in Avengers Endgame, but I always kind of felt like Beta Ray Bill should do it, right? Because it would really like, throw, like people would just be like, who the hell is this guy? They can just lift the hammer of Thor. Like one of the other guys, one of the other people doing it, it's kind of obvious, Captain America doing it, Vision doing it, I guess, you know, it's, it's whatever. And I guess maybe Captain America lifting it first, but Beta Ray Bill doing it would just make his character significant because that's what made him significant in the comics, right? He was, he's the first person ever Ever to pick up the hammer of Thor that wasn't Thor. Like, nobody had ever done that before. So it was, it was this crazy moment. Um, but regardless of how they slice it, Beta Ray Bill needs to be done in a way to where he's, he's a warrior like, like Thor, right? I mean, he's a protector of his people. That's how they first met. He was kind of like their protector that was there to make sure the Corbinites, you know, if anybody showed up trying to cause some problems, Beta Ray Bill would like lay the, lay the, he'd lay the hammer down, boom, bam, you know, like he was supposed to be that kind of guy, right? So I, I don't know. I mean, it's curious to see how they're going to do it. But again, it's just a rumor at this point, right? Like, nobody knows for certain if that's what's going to happen with Beta Ray Bill in the MCU. Like, nobody even knows if he's actually going to play that guy. I mean, if I'm being honest, there's other characters I would love to see in the MCU besides Beta Ray Bill. Dude, like Mangog? Oh, dude, let me tell you something, man. Dude, let me tell you something, man. Dude, Mangog. Mangog is a hoss, right? Like, dude, here's the, here's the thing, man. Mangog, like, we don't even know his real origin, right? Like, all we know is that, like, Odin did something and pissed and basically wiped out a whole race. And so, like, their collective anger and rage coalesced into, like, a singular being. Dude, when Mangog shows up, it's curtains. Dude, it's drapes. Mangog was, like, the only person that Odin was ever afraid of, right? Like, that's the way it's always been in Marvel Comics. Mangog shows up and Odin shits his pants. And it's just, dude, it, it always went that way. And, like, that's kind of what you need, right? Like, hella, hella, like, here's the thing. Hella Hella, like, shattering the hammer of Thor, okay, cool. Like, that's nice and pretty and everything, but, like, Mangog would just, like, lay waste to Asgard. Like, it, would, dude, it wouldn't even be fair. Like, dude, he would, like, Thor would get crushed and not even by a little bit. Like, it would, it would, dude, he would get, he wouldn't even stand a chance in the first place. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, give me some Doctor Strange villains like Zom. Dude, here's the thing. There's one point in the comics where Doctor Strange is like, dude, if Zom ever shows up in, in our universe at full power, everyone's gonna die. Like, 
literally everyone's gonna die. It took the Living Tribunal to lock Zom away. He was just that damn powerful. Dude, Zom was nuts. He was he was like this crazy looking thing. They like locked his hands up so he can't like use magical power or anything. He's like this crazy looking demon entity, but like he's super powerful. But here's here's the thing. Like I want to see Christian Bale play Mangog. That's what I want to see. Thor: Love and Thunder. I want to see that because like Mangog shows up. You, man, you guys think Thanos with the Infinity All it was impressive? Man, he's nothing compared to Mangog. Mangog's like this indestructible, immutable force of destruction, right? He's just rage incarnate. It's amazing. Like, it's absolutely awesome. Anyway, uh, Beta Ray Bill in the MCU is probably going to be cool. I don't know. It depends on how they do it. The Marvel Cinematic Universe hasn't failed yet. Uh, and so I guess we'll just see. We'll see what happens. What are, what are you? What? They haven't failed yet. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, I mean, but like that incredible Hulk movie, though. Like, I don't know. That, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what you were going to say. But uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited, people. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all later. Peace.